Hi, everyone. I'm Brian Leary. Our champs are on a roll now. You know that if you were watching us last week, Mary Lagenza and Sharon Rawson, winners last week. That makes it five in a row, dating back to our women's series a year and ago. They go for six in a row today against Julie Frotten and Paula Vincent, and here's what they'll be shooting at. $500 goes to the winning team and $300 to the losers, and we've got $50 in bonus money for three marks in a row, $1,000 for three strikes in a row, and an extra $200 payoff for one of our teams should they be able to come up with a two-string total of $275 or more. So that's the prize money. Now let's get on with the bowling. Mary Laganza will kick it off for the champs. And Paula Vincent will start it off for the challengers. Here's Mary. And Paula with her very first television ball. Mary Laganza, as we told you last week, is married with two children. She works as a teacher. She has a high single of 180. Paula Vincent is married with two children. Almost opens with a spare. Paula has a high single of 150. Paula has a high triple of 400, and she carries a 114 average. Paula opens with nine, so a quick two-pin lead for the challengers. Big hit, almost. And there it goes, a 10. Mary Lagenza at 17 after a couple. Paula Vincent with that 10 at 19 after two. So our lob line judge, Ralph Stewart, clearing some wood for us. Ralph making a special guest appearance today, visiting from Agunquit, his summer residence. <laughs> well, there's one nine and Two nines. And the challengers lead it by just a couple now. After three, we've yet to come up with a mark. Mirror Lagenza should get our first mark here. No. But she takes a 10. And 36 through four. Paula with a nine at 37 through four. So the challenger still hanging on. There they go. Well, that's just what she did last week. Last week, Mary Lagenza had four open frames in her second string and then stepped up and threw a strike, and that's just what she does here. Paula Vincent looking at a spare leave. She's got it. So each of our bowlers sets up her partner with an opportunity to fill out a mark. After the first five for the challengers, Julie Frotten and Paula Vincent. 47 plus a bonus ball and for our defending champion Sharon Rawson and Mary Lagenza 
46 plus two bonus balls. We'll be back with part two of the opening string in just a minute. All right, here we go with the second half of the opening string. Julie Frotten and Sharon Rossin here. Sharon, two strikes in a row. And Julie Frotten had seven to her spare. All right, we have two strikes showing on the board. One more would be worth $1,000 in bonus money. Julie, for two marks in a row, doesn't get it. Sharon just turned around and said to Mary Legenza, I'm so nervous. She's staring at a, an opportunity for a thousand big ones here. And she misses a head pin. She gets five anyway. Now these five would be worth 50 in bonus money. And an eight box. So Sharon and Mary Legenza now are at 87 with three to go. Julie Frotten takes a nine for 73 through seven. Sharon after the diamond. Got it. Good shot. That doesn't go often. So a spear in the eighth for the champs. Julie Frotten trying to match it. No. And a nine for 82 through eight. On the spare now. There you see the difference. 22 pins. Sharon trying to double up here. Huh. Nine and one thirteen through nine. Julie's just got to wait for that wood to stop before she can go after the ten pin. And she's got it. So the challengers are at ninety two. A twenty one pin spread going into the last box. And a nine. So the champs finish up with 122 in the opener. Julie Frotten gets out of that with an eight and an even 100. So the spread is 22, but that's more than manageable. As we take one final look at the totals from the opening string for Sharon Rawson and Mary Legenza. Thanks to those two strikes right in the middle of the string, a 122, and for our challengers, Julie Frotten and Paula Vincent, a 100. We'll see whether our champs can hold on and as a result win for the sixth consecutive week when we come back right after this. All 
All right, string number two. Paula Vincent will start it off for the challengers. So looking at the three, six, and ten, and there they go. Our right, challengers next week will be from the South Shore area. Lois Peacock from Hull and Joanne Rosano from Weymouth. Champs have added a dozen pins to the lead. It's up to 34 now with eight to go. shot. Paula takes 10, 22 through 3. And Mary Leganza with 9 and 33 through 3. Two big hits. Looking at just the nine pin with that piece of wood, which she should prefer either roll a little closer or roll out of the way, I would imagine. But she gets it. It's a long climb back for the challengers, but at least they're climbing. Paula has to spare in the fourth. That's a 10 for Mary Legenza. Big hit on the spare. She has some wood to maybe help out. And Mary Legenza has had a streak of strikes on the fifth frame. Let's see if she continues it here. No. All right, Paula is after her second consecutive mark here. And 10 for 50 through 5. Mary with 9 and 52, so the lead is 24. That's how many Julie Frotten has to make up here in the final five frames. 24 pins. kidding before the show that she hopes it doesn't wind up like another show that she and Mary Legenzer found themselves bowling on up opposite sides on. 
they went down tied in the final box and then they had to go to a couple of overtime boxes and I didn't want to have to go through the anxiety of it all over again but I'm sure at this point Julie would love to have that opportunity finding herself down by 23 with just four to go. Julie with a good opportunity for spare here needs it desperately and doesn't get it. Spread still 24 pins. And that might clinch it. Sharon Rawson with a strike in the eighth. One plus two bonus balls for the champs and 77 for the challengers. And remember the champs carried in a 22 pin lead here. On the strike. for that wood to settle. Julie Frotten looking just for the head pin. The wood doesn't really come into play, but nevertheless, she has to wait until it stops moving before she can throw her next ball. And she's got it. For a spare in the night. And Sharon Rossin with the spare on top of the strike. There you see those marks up there. Sharon with an opportunity for some more bonus money. Julie fills out her spare with a strike. And another mark would bring her some bonus money. All right, on the spare. The four horsemen for 50 bucks. That's what it comes down to. Almost. And a 10 box. So our champs once again bowl much better than their average as they open up with 122 and 117 here. The team average is 111. Julie Frotten's not going to win here, but should she be able to knock off these two, she'd at least be $50 richer. And she gets it. She shakes her head, disappointed in her score, but nonetheless, she picks up an extra 50, so that'll make things a little bit more palatable we have matching 117s in the second and deciding string so the problem was that opening string in which Mary Legenza and Sharon Rawson zipped off to a 22 pin lead and as it turned out the 22 pin margin held up exactly on the money the final totals for Sharon Rawson and Mary Legenza 239 and for Julie Frotten and Paula Vincent a 217 so our champs do it again for the sixth consecutive week We'll be back with our champs and our runners up right after this.
All right, we say goodbye to Julie Frotten and Paula Vincent. We have an extra $50 in bonus money anyway to go for the 300 so I'm sure that you can take that, huh? Yes, I'll take that. <laughs> What's it like the first time around? Shaky. <laughs> Not bad, though. Well, Hot. Now, now you're all set for the next time you come back, right? That's right. That's right. I'll be back. We were kidding before when uh, you were first on several years ago. Uh, with the, you told me how to pronounce your name. I don't want to give you any ideas about what you're bowling today, but you said it's frotten as in rotten. But right. You're <laughs> right. Frotten and it's rotten. All right. I, I promise you I would mention that again, so there you go. All right, Julie and Paula, we'll see you guys again. And as for Mary Legenza and Sharon Rossin, we've got six in a row. You know, Tony Marie Baldinelli and... Uh, Mary Ann Kelly have the record seven in a row, so that means next week you have something to shoot for, right? We're trying. Yeah. Talk to her. <laughs> talk to her. All right, try talking to her, and she says to talk to you. Now, you and Mary Ann teamed up to win the doubles, so uh, you can try to knock Mary Ann off, uh, off our rolls here for the longest streak, okay? I hope so. Like the That's three words. That's better than last week. Anyway, we'll work on that. All right, Mary Legenza and Sharon Rossin will be back next week. And as we mentioned, they'll be going for seven in a row at that time. And in their way will be Lois Peacock of Hull and Joanne Rosano of Weymouth. So I hope you'll join us to see whether or not they can pull it off. For everyone here at Fairway Sports World and Natick now, have a good afternoon.